A nation's culture is a good measure of its maturity. But culture, though it may wax and wane, is a living growth, and our daily lives reflect our culture in how we behave towards others. In short, by our manners. Consideration for others is the best foundation for good manners, a foundation on which to build a truly civilized society. But are we always considerate? If we cannot oblige, we can at least speak obligingly. No, he didn't get out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. He just wants to show off his self-importance. He has no respect for old age. This accent on self-importance is far too common. Another case of an inflated ego. He has plenty of change, but gives a tenner for a one anna ticket. I haven't that much change, says the conductor. Well, get it from somewhere. Unnecessary rudeness. There are different kinds of rudeness, and they come in all sizes. Well, this one is the indifferent kind. The visitor will just have to find it out himself. Then there's the official kind of rudeness. The fellow who's always up to his eyes in work and can't use them to see visitors. <coughs> Offering the visitor a seat may be good manners, but well, it's not in the fundamental rules, so why should he? Besides, look at all the work that's piled up, claiming his attention. Well, he will look into it when its turn comes. Soft words turn it away wrath. Rude ones by salesmen turn away customers. The customer asks to see some other varieties. That's all I have. Take it or leave it. But he won't improve sales with these manners. We all know that vacant seats are rare during rush hours. Gentlemen, Hannah, I say Logon go to Salaxicana Chai. Ah, the rules. Well, discretion is the better part of valor. Does dress always proclaim the gentleman? Not always. Everything comes to him who waits, including trains. This husband just doesn't believe in uplift of any kind. He's a model husband, but one that isn't a working model. It is better for men in public to keep their mouths shut and be thought fools than to open them and remove all doubt. <laughs> There's nothing against drinking out of the saucer. But why the music? Nor is this good manners. Ah. Another irritating habit. 
Just a human calling another. But which one? Art and culture go hand in hand. We have developed new arts. <coughs> now, the orchestra is complete. And here are some party manners. Aha! Uh -huh, a playback artist. Some people proclaim their hunger in public. Public gardens exist for our enjoyment, but not for other people's annoyance. Admiration is all right, but this is downright vulgar. Oh, I beg your pardon. They're shooting a film on good manners. Let's hear what the director has to say. No matter what your walk in life, this is one of the worst examples of bad manners. It shows a lack of breeding, lack of culture, lack of... <coughs> As we were saying, all this does it reflect our culture. But all is not lost. A civilization of 5,000 years can never disappear. If there are some with bad manners, there are many more with good manners. Thank you. Please sit with us. Just as oil keeps the wheels of industry running smoothly by eliminating friction, so too the wheels of society are kept smoothly running by courtesy and consideration. They say, manners make it man. We go even further and say, manners make it the boy that make it the man. That is why manners, like charity, should begin at home. Who do you want to do? Are you in the house of your father? Yes, I am now. Good job, son. Very good. Good manners are contagious. And if we mind our own manners, Others will mend theirs, and it will be invisible mending. We can then live as civilized citizens in our country that is justly proud of its rich and ancient culture. Chaliye, Huzoor. Pahile aap, nahi qibla. Aap buzurg hai. بندہ یہ گستاخی کیسے کر سکتا ہے خواہ پر خوردار کیا اخلاق پایا ہے آپ نے نوازش ہے آپ کی تشریف فرما کر ناچیز کو شکریہ کا موقع دیجی شاہ اللہ لا جواب کر دیا آپ نے تو شکریہ اب شرمیدہ نہ کیجئے تشریف لے چلیے شکریہ